Hey everyone, uh, my name is Mark and I'm a professional visual effect artist. In this video, I wanted to go through how I use Element 3D in my professional workflow and how I use Element 3D in various Netflix projects and other um, high-end commercials. So I made this demo shot where I wanted to demonstrate how I mostly use Element 3D in my workflow, but really there's so many ways you can use it. Because the thing is Element 3D can be quite a powerful plugin when you're doing compositing. And the thing is sometimes some shots go through different stages of approval and Often they come back with notes and sometimes you don't really have much time to kind of send back revisions. So what I've been working on is creating a workflow where it allows me to very quickly change certain aspects of the shot without having to re-render from Cinema 4D, which I'll show you later on. So it's really just about having a lot of flexibility, but also making sure that you can deliver these revisions very quickly. I did make a previous video about um, Element 3D before, which actually has a lot of use. It's about achieving realistic renders um, in Element 3D. So if you'd like to check that out, then you can check it out, I think like here maybe. So let's go to my PC and let me explain how I use Element 3D. All right, so it's actually going to nighttime by the time I managed to film the second part of the video. So yes, I'm in my computer, so let's just dive straight in. All right, so this is the current version of the shot. This is actually still a work in progress because I am working on a sequence that I will be later making another tutorial. So this shot, and there's also another shot from the exterior where you can see the plane actually falling towards the ground. I only have a start frame as of now, which you can see here, but I will have the proper shot ready for the tutorial. So this was rendered from Cinema 4D using Redshift, and the model is actually quite a cheap 3D model I bought from CG Trader. I bought it for a music video I directed for a Hungarian pop artist. And in the actual music video, you can only see the exterior of the model. For this shot, I wanted to see if I could use the interior of the 3D model. And I think with some clever lighting, I was able to kind of get it look decent enough. So I think it works for this shot. If you would like to buy this 3D model, um, there's a link in the description. And if you'd like, you could use my referral link, which would just help me to make more videos. All right, so here we have the raw render from Cinema 4D. So as you can see, I've added some roughness to the reflections and also the refractions, which has given us this kind of stained, kind of frosty look on the window. But this is kind of just to make the glass texture stand out because I knew I was going to add the rain on top of it. So I'll turn on the temporary grade just so I can see more of the final look I'm looking for, which is more of a kind of nighttime-ish look. If you follow the channel for a while, you might know that. I'm actually co-founder of a stock footage company called Visual Effects Pro. We have a lot of different stock footage collections that are ready to use. So if you'd like to check that out, please do. There's gonna be links in the description. We recently shot a collection, which is water hitting against glass. So I dragged in some of the unfinished assets to use for this. So before I show you the next steps, I'm going to turn on the background. As you can see, this is just kind of this misty sea stock footage I found on Paxos. So this is already giving us a really good look, but let's try to add some more detail with the rain. So if I just add the stock footage as a 2D layer and I parent it to the 3D data of the glass, you see like it doesn't look that bad, but it doesn't actually follow the curvature of the glass on the on the plane. You can kind of tell that it's 2D. You could potentially try to use some warp effects to fix this, but this is where Element 3D comes in super handy. So I can import the 3D model and isolate the window only. I've also imported the camera and the 3D object data, which means I can line up Element 3D to be exactly where it was in Cinema 4D. To do this, however, you need to change a few settings. So here's a video I made previously on how you could do that. So then I add the stock footage as a custom texture layer, and you might have to adjust the UV coordinates in Element 3D, but I would say just play around until you get some nice results. So this is where more of the flexibility comes in. Um, for this specific use, I wouldn't want to use any HDR lighting, so I turned that off. Instead, I'll add some custom lights. I'll add an ambient lighting and a parallel lighting. And this kind of helps me dial in exactly the look I want to achieve. So now, as you can see, the rain wraps around the exact same free model and it makes the dripping of the water much more realistic. But also, I can go into the water comp and adjust the rain. So let's say the client wants the rain to come from the right side instead of the left. I can mirror the texture or build it again specifically for the rain to come from the right side. So thank you very much for watching this video. This was kind of more of an overview rather than an actual tutorial, but I am planning on releasing tutorials on 
Element 3D and Cinema 4D and After Effects. Uh, let me know in the comments what you would like to see. I'm thinking about a video for Halloween. Thinking about potentially recreating a shot from Haunting of Hell House because I, I love that show. But yeah, please let me know what you'd like to see on this channel. I'm going to be consistently uploading every two weeks. Um, at least I will try. If you guys honestly have any specific topic you would like me to cover, I would love to. If you like the video, please subscribe and turn on the notifications so you won't miss out on future videos. Bye.